Hello there, this is Alex from phpacademy.org. I'm creating this PHP video for the new Boston. Now in this video I'm going to be talking loosely about functions, uh, why they're useful in PHP or in fact any other programming language, and also how we can create a function and use a function within our page. Now first of all, what is a function? A function is something that allows us to declare um, a block of code that we might want to reuse. Um, we can feed in parameters to this, um, or arguments as they're sometimes referred to, or usually referred to. Um, and then we can use this at different parts in our code to save us retyping code out. Um, and as per the name functions, they will do something. So, you know, they will do something that will allow you to declare them um, and then reuse them over and over. So the standard uh, syntax for a function is function. We have two brackets and then we have a block here denoted by two curly brackets, an opening and a closing. Now inside here we'll go our arguments. In this video I'm not going to be dealing with arguments, I'm just going to show you uh, how we're using a function and uh, how to call it. So we already know that a function is used to speed up um, basically our writing of our program by keeping some code that's going to let us, um, or declaring the function and a lot of code. Now what we haven't done is given this function a name, I forgot to mention that. Um, we're going to give this function a name and this is going to be uh, called um, my name. Um, you can write it any way you want, um, small, uh, with camel caps, um, anything really. So we'll use a capital M and a capital N just so we can see. So it's really important that you name your functions well. Uh, my name doesn't really tell you what I'm going to do, um, but you know, it 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 could it could do and it might not. It depends on who the if you're writing to an audience, say you people are gonna see your code, as long as you know what it is and if, if it's staying personal to you, that's absolutely fine. So in this I'm just gonna simply echo out Alex. Now let's just suppose in my code, uh, let's just bring this down, I want to um I want to echo out Alex a few times. So for example um, echo my name is and I want to break down now I'm just gonna call my function my name down here now what this is gonna do is it's gonna echo out my name is it's gonna line break down and then it's gonna call this function we call it simply by its name and then just two brackets like that Arguments would usually go in here, but in this purpose of this short tutorial, I'm not talking about arguments. And then, as always, we end with a semicolon. So the the result I want from this is to echo out my name, basically, after this sentence here. So let's test if it works. We refresh, and you can see it says, my name is Alex. Now, obviously, we could take away this line break um, and just include a space here, and you can see that it has exactly the same use. Um, this is obviously a useless um, function. It would be a lot easier to declare it, um, or not declare it, but type my name over and over again if I needed to. Um, but this example just demonstrates how to create a basic function and what it does. I mean, for example, in our function, we could want, we might want to echo out a specific variable um, that we don't want to keep redeclaring. Um, in our page, uh, but then again, that might be useless as well. So, I mean, functions can be used for different things. Um, obviously, uh, depending on your program, you just have to think logically about it. But for now, this is an example of how to you declare a function. I've talked about why they're useful, um, and in the next video, we're going to look at passing arguments to functions to create something that's maybe a bit more of use.